Hey everybody, it's Brock, and today's video is sponsored by Dream Team Forever. Make sure to check out our website as we just released the first ever All About Tees that feature 30 fish and inverts from the series. Click the link in the description to get some for you and your family. everybody it's brock and we got a brand new episode of all about bringing something new to the table it's not a fish it's not a coral we're actually talking about a starfish today and i haven't done one in a while and i got some really good footage of a really pretty one that a lot of people like to have in their tanks so i'm really happy to be bringing y'all the red tile starfish or as other people like to call them the marble sea stars prices on them you'll normally spend around 30 dollars to get one of these into your tank tank size with starfish, it really doesn't matter, especially with these, they don't get too large, so really tank size is any. It's mainly about keeping a good food source and keeping levels right. Care level, they can be moderate, which we'll get into it. There are some key things you really have to pay attention to when taking care of a starfish. Temper, they are very peaceful. It's a very peaceful starfish when roaming the tank. They're not like a chocolate chip starfish that can be almost like a bulldozer pushing things over and eating corals. You know, they are a little bit more aggressive, but for these, they're very peaceful and they're great to have. Reef safe, so yes, it's always tough sometimes to find a starfish with great colors that also does well in a reef tank, and this is a perfect one for your reef tank. They are really good about not messing with your corals. They go right past them. They're not bad about knocking things over. They pretty much just go in between everything and clean up. Salinity, you want to keep it 1.023 to 1.025. Keep it right in between there. DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your temperature 72 to 78. I like to keep mine right on 78. That gets them a good warm temperature to live in. You want to make sure with these levels that no fluctuations are occurring because it can really hurt the starfish. Max size, so you can expect them to get about 5 inches by the end of their life. So that's from one arm to the other. So not crazy big you know there are some starfish out there that can get over a foot long so this one is great to have if you don't have a super large tank and you don't want one to just get overbearing in there colors is a big reason why everybody wants one they have a red bright red body with these white spots all over them that make it look like a kitchen tile floor on top of them it's really cool to see diet so they are an omnivore so both algae and meaty food will be eaten by these guys. They're going to be looking on the rocks for algae all throughout the day. They're going to be eating leftovers on the sand bed. If any of your fish have missed some food and they run around on top of that, they'll be eating that as well. And it's also good to spot feed these. So if you get little frozen shrimp from the grocery store, you can actually cut them up into little bitty pieces. And what we'll normally do is stick that little shrimp right below one of his arms. And he'll stick those tentacles out to push that shrimp all the way down to its mouth in the middle. And he'll love that. Keep doing that. You know, normally we would feed ours a piece of shrimp once a week. That way we just knew they were getting some good nutrition in their diet. Origin, so they do come from Indonesia. So they are coming from pretty far away. Compatibility, you can have multiples as long as there's enough to eat. If you will have multiple starfish in the tank, you just want to make sure there's plenty of algae growing on the rocks for them to run over. Make sure there's plenty of food being fed to them if you want to start feeding shrimp that would really help on keeping more than one in a tank because you'll know they're happy and healthy and full they can be mixed with other sea stars as well so if you have like a blue linkia and you want to add this red tile they can they'll do great together so that is another option that you have they are great at eating hair algae and really good about eating detritus as well detritus is a really big problem most of the time whenever you're first starting out so they are great to put in there and eat that stuff up for you and make your rocks look really clean and make that sand bed look good as well. Give them a good sandy bottom with plenty of live rocks for them to climb and graze on because they're either on your glass or they're on your rocks looking for food and they constantly move around the tank. Acclimating is probably the most important part about keeping sea stars. Usually takes four times the amount of time that you acclimate your fish. So at the shop, whenever we used to get them in, we would acclimate them for four hours minimum on a really slow drip acclimation when we got them because this would just allow them and their bodies to get used to the water change if the temperature difference or salinity levels or any other kind of the levels 
that were not matching what he was shipped in. This will really help them go in easily into your tank. Another thing is the starfish cannot touch air, so the best thing to do is whatever bag he comes in, make sure it's sunken underwater before he comes out of the bag, and do the same when put him in, in your tank. So a lot of times people will get bowls, and you can scoop them while still underwater, transfer it over to the top of your tank, sink the bowl down, and then pull them out. And that will keep them super healthy, and you'll make sure everything is checked off when putting them into your tank. Like I said before, no sudden changes in water levels, even the temperature, because most of the time whenever spikes happen in the tank, starfish are normally the first ones to go because their bodies just can't handle it. So make sure you're keeping up with your water changes, keeping up whenever you're feeding your fish. Just make sure those water levels don't get too high and get too high too fast to hurt this starfish. Also make sure you're not doing any copper dosing with the starfish in the tank. They will immediately not make it if you were to dose this. So if you do have to dose it in your tank, you're gonna have to take them out. A hurt sea star will normally be discolored, could have a little stringy material coming off of it if it was injured by a fish or falling. I recommend putting food near it if you are worried about him not being healthy because a starfish will go after food no matter what. So if you put a little piece of shrimp under its arm and it's literally just staying there, I would definitely start checking things in the tank, get your levels checked out, make sure your temperature's fine, and just try to figure out the solution. It is still recommended for a tank to be about one year old before introducing a starfish in there. Main reason for this is because it allows them to have a great food source that's been growing for a year, and your levels are less likely to be changing, especially whenever you first start a tank. Those levels are jumping all over the place. So a lot of times, you know, let it go good for a year, and then jump into the starfish world and put one of those in your tank and you'll just have much better luck at keeping them alive. But that's everything I needed to touch base on for this sea star. If y'all do have any other questions or comments about ones you've taken care of, please leave them down in the comments. That helps us all learn more about them. I hope y'all all have a wonderful weekend. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. Also, make sure to go out there on Dream Team where we got the new shirts out. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so everything that's purchased on the site will be able to donate a portion of that to BCRF to help fund and find a cure for cancer. So always make sure to go check that out, and we will really appreciate it. Talk to y'all later.